Newly appointed Federal Territories Minister Khalid Abdul Samad may have only been in office for less than two months, but he has already lost track of the number of events he has attended in his capacity as minister. The Shah Alam MP, who is also the party Amanah Negara Communications Director, now has his plate full with duties as Minister for Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya and Labuan. In an exclusive interview with Star Metro, Khalid spoke about issues concerning the federal capital pertaining to overdevelopment, local government election and political interference. For the overdevelopment issue, the FT minister said it is not as simple as cancelling fraudulent projects as what the Pakatan Harapan Manifesto promised. Every uh, cancellation will have its uh, repercussions and it will have uh, legal bearing. You know, there will be legal implications, especially if you've already signed the uh, development orders and everything has been uh, done and they've spent money and they've already sold the units and, and so on and so forth. I think the general spirit uh, behind the statement is true uh, in the sense that there should be a better uh, planning for the development. And this is where I was talking about you know, gazetting the a master plan, you know, which uh, the Barisan National Administration did not do, and when they don't, when they didn't gazette it, then that means that whatever planning that they had is just goes down the drain, and you just do as you like, yeah, and you don't uh, follow uh, whatever master plan that you had uh, in the first place, right? So I think uh, the question of the overdevelopment and all that uh, must be seen in that light. It's a question of uh, having a planned uh, development uh, for the city. And once you've uh, made the plans, uh, you should stick to it. And if there are any uh, you know, changes, then it must be uh, brought about uh, through a process. Speaking on the proposals of having local government elections for the mayor, Khalid showed his support for the idea. He, however, said that more work needs to be done before it gets implemented. Local council elections is something which we are going for. Uh, but uh, it's not something that can be done overnight. Uh, we've got to study it from various uh, angles. Uh, it includes the question of uh, the voters, which voting list are you going to use. Uh, pe currently, people vote who stay in KL, they vote in Terengganu, they vote in outside of KL, you know, where else they themselves are the residents of KL and their property in KL. Or there are people who are voting, you know, uh, staying elsewhere, but they have property in KL. So. Uh, policies uh, which are being decided by the local council affect the uh, property owners. Right? So are we going to just use the electoral uh, role supplied by SPR or are we going to use uh, another electoral role which is based on people who are actually residents and people who are actually uh, paying the, uh, uh, the assessments and so on and so forth. So these are issues that need to be discussed. Uh, I personally agree to having uh, elections for the mayor and for the local councillors, but as I said, it's not going to be something that's going to be uh, you know, done immediately overnight. Lah. When asked how much freedom he would accord to the Kuala Lumpur mayor to reduce the issue of political interference, Khalid said some things would be looked at on a case-to-case -case basis. What I will be involved in is uh, ensuring that there is a lot of feedback from the MPs, from the public. I will also be involved in the uh, master plan you know, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but in general, what will happen, I hope, is that uh, when we've decided on a certain policy, uh, he implements the policy and uh, as a result of that, there will be no need for me to interfere. But in uh, determining the policies, of course, I will be uh, involved right, in uh, the development of the master plan. Uh, but once that has been set and agreed to, uh, including by the public, then I will only be involved in the event that there are exceptional circumstances for which I will have to be answerable if I authorise uh, something which is uh, contrary to the master plan or contrary to a certain policy. Lah. Among other issues on the FT Minister's agenda is the reduction of plastic use by society. He explained that a committee had been tasked to come up with ways on how to implement the policy by 2020. Khalid said gazetting the draft Kuala Lumpur City Plan 2020 would be among the important agendas he would be pushing for.